Hey you guys. So I wanna tell you guys I wanna tell you guys tell you guys something important. So obviously Hey. Top of the morning to you. We got a light worker message coming in. A warning for for light workers by light workers, right? Um this Mercury in retrograde post shadow period is really showing its ass to the light workers. Um, and especially if you've been doing a lot of shadow work. Hello, everybody. Love and light to you. This is a message that could help some of you understand um, what to not fall for, especially in these next coming weeks, because you will be seeing a lot of. Um... So if you've been doing the shadow work, this is the message I'm picking up. If you've been doing the shadow work, hello, hun. If you've been doing the shadow work, you've been, you know, what is shadow work, Flo? Shadow work is, you know, look, looking at things you want to change about yourself and seeing the dark side of your moon and, uh, excuse me, trying to find the, the, the light side of your moon. Excuse me. I don't know what shadow workers are. So doing your own shadow work is, real quick, I'll explain it to you because I have a channeled message and it's supremely important. I mean, supreme, right? Supreme, it's coming from the big guys up there. Um, so doing your shadow work means this. So let's say you were an addict. Let's say you uh, had bad habits, behaviors, um, anger issues, resentment, jealousy, uh, a pride, uh, envy. You know, all the like those so-called deadly sins. You work on those. That's your shadow work. Your shadow aspect. Of, the shadow being of yourself. The shadow aspect of yourself. So like when you see like nothing's inherently good or bad. But however there's a shadow self. And then there's the, the light self. Right? So when you are um <clears throat> working on your shadow work. It's basically all the parts of you that you, you don't like. You don't like. And you know you don't like it. I mean p other people point it out to you. You point it out to you. And it's something you work on right okay thank you i'm glad you understand work with the unconscious mind to uncover the parts of yourself that are that you repress and hide from yourself exactly the shadow but it also is also shadow work can be well so yes so that's a perfect way to, to explain that but it's also can be healing the dark parts of yourself so for instance like me healing my addictions and stuff like this all right so that's my shadow self plus i was hiding it from everybody yeah okay good good we got it we got it okay thank you just want to make sure you understand this is a message for you guys man boy do i get taken to some places let me just tell you and then i wake up and i ask like why was i there and what why are you showing me that is that is that like me is that me that's all me and they're like no you'll understand give it a second so as i was driving I'm, I'm i'm meditating on my dream listening to what i saw so well i'll explain to you guys what i saw because it's gonna help you understand and help other people too um this is really a light worker uh galactic uh you know querent light worker which is the those who are um ascended beings that come in to give us messages to let us know not to fall for the trap, right? Meaning light workers, they don't want you to fall for the false light so you can get reincarnated back into earth and get trapped back here, right? It's the light workers um, doing the light work on the grid work on the earth and helping people ascend to the next dimension. Hey, Chrissy. So, hey, everybody. So, listen. So, I'm going to tell you what I had in a dream because this is post-shadow Mercury in retrograde. We, we had Jupiter in full effect lately. And... Um, you know, that's about constrictions and holding you back. And, and now you're being freed from something. Like when I say freed, like this is the last parts of the shadow self. If you if you've been feeling unmotivated, not creative, not feeling it. We had Jupiter. Um, um, I, I, it was it was so powerful, Jupiter, that it was constricting people from their 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 emotional learning is what I'm hearing. And now I'm going to tell you this message because you guys got to hear this because I'm going to save your fucking lives. I had a dream. I had a dream that all of these fuckers are tricking people constantly in the astral realms. Now, let me paint the picture for you. In this dream, I ended up in this very humongous, what looked to be like a, uh, how can I explain it? A storage unit, but it was humongous so like it had different parts to the storage unit so cut to the dream i'm i'm 
jumping down these things. It's me and this girl. We're going to meet these guys and we're jumping down. Like, I'm talking about, like, we were like fucking parking up this motherfucker, going down it. I had Converse on. Like, I was like a beast, you know, moving around. Pa, pa, pa. I go down. Phew. And then we meet these two guys. One of the guys played the role as this guy that I used to be in love with in high school. And he came in a dream. And I got to stay in the focus of this dream because it has a point to it at the end of it. So I, I, we were hanging out, whatever. And it was like, he was all cute. He was cute. And we were like making out and stuff. And then he was like, I'm hungry. And I was like, I don't know if I can get the food. Now, mind you, it's a setup though, the whole time these motherfuckers. Right, I know, right? They're like, oh, she got it. Yes, the fuck, I got it. I got it. I understand, I'm not stupid. They're all cute and shit. We're having a good time. But one of them was like, I'm hungry. And I looked at my 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 friend that I was with, and I said to her, I was like, damn, is it, you think I can get back up there to get him the food? And she was like, I don't know. And I was like, I looked at him, I was like, you hungry, hungry? He was like, yeah. I was like, all right. So I knew something was funny. So this motherfucker, they set to, they, they will set you up in your motherfucking dreams or cuties. Be very careful. So, or good, or whoever you're attracted to. So these two fuck boys, I'm going to get them food and shit. I'm going to get them food. Ooh, he cute. Um, hey neighbor, how you? <laughs> no, I'm going to get them food and shit, right? So I go to get these motherfuckers food. And when I go upstairs, I end up going to meet with like people, young people. Okay, guys, here's where, the, where shit gets real and fucked up. It's all fun and games until young teenagers and kid, the children are involved. And here we go with my guys with the children bullshit again because they, they know that I am an advocate for children. Don't fuck with kids. I don't. You be like, oh, they're 19. They're not kids. Oh, yeah, they are kids. They're children. They still have not fully developed. I'm sorry. At 19, I was nowhere near fully developed. I'm sorry. I was like completely naive, had no clue what the world was about. Anywho, so we go into this little part. It, it, I said, again, it looks like the storage unit. So I go to get this little fucking food. I walk out of the thing and now it looks like almost like a hall, right? It's like motherfucker, like a movie theater. Ooh, bitch. These are false motherfuckers. They didn't belong there and they were tricking us. So they all come together. All of these like guards and shit like that. And they all come together and we're in the movie theater. And then I know it's like a whole movie, right? I love I love telling my dreams because they're so pew, 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 scene one, scene two. So we're in the movie theater area and everybody comes and they start going, everybody this way, everybody this way. But wait, before they start saying everybody this way, I forgot to tell you, let me remind you. We all were dancing, having mad fun. It was a big ass party. I'm talking. I was on top of one of the girls' shoulders. We were drinking. We, I'm drinking. Uh, we were fucking having so much fun. Like we were having so much fun. I'm telling you, I never had so much fun in my life. I felt the fun when I woke up. I was like, that was fun. But the other part was not fun. <laughs> so we were having fun. Then all of a sudden, as we're having fun, we're all going in, we're going crazy in the dream, bop, 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 bop. All of a sudden, all these fucking, like, security guards come. They're like, everybody, get in line and stand over here. And we're like, what the fuck? And they're like, every, <coughs> excuse me, they're like, everybody, get over here, get over here. And so we're like, to these security guards, what the fuck? Like, why do we have to go over there? I see I'm losing a lot of people. I really don't care. I want to tell this dream because it's important, the end of it. And I have to tell you in specific detail how they tricked me first, then took me to this party, but they did it on purpose because they needed to show me this. It was called, I woke up and I heard it's pe some people's <sighs> false hell. Hear me, hear me what I'm saying. So we're dancing, whatever, They and the security guards, everybody's over here. They're like, everybody over here, over here. So I'm trying to get away from them. So I'm like, to me and this black girl, I was like, yo, yo, let's, look, let's go out. Like, we got to use the bathroom and shit. She was like, all right. So we go downstairs. We go to use the bathroom. There's a big ass line in the bathroom. When we get to the bathroom, they had like little cups on the stands. And anytime you see a dirty bathroom in a dream, no bueno, right? It means the dream is no bueno. So um, it's no good. It's no good. Dirty urine in a dream is not good. You, if you pee in a dream, you're releasing stuff. But I saw dirty urine in the bathrooms, like on the stalls and shit. And that's not good. That means the spirit was showing me that this is a very dirty place and a very grimy place where people lie to you it's like when your urine is too orange you know you gotta drink more water and you gotta de detoxify that's what it was like like these motherfuckers need to get exposed and we're gonna need people to start talking and exposing them and as you can see i'm outside because i'm planning on after this sitting outside for a little bit and doing some groundwork because bitch i've been traveling so i'm sorry okay 
So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So anyway, let's clear. So I'm in the, okay, they pull us out. We, they all start pulling us out. Now I'm like, why the fuck we listen to these herbs for, right? Listen, r- rude, rude, hear me out. She said, you think it was a sex traf- trafficking dream? You know how I feel about that. Spirit was showing me. Listen to this. Hear me out. You tell me what you think because I'm going to tell you what I think after. Now, this is, yo, when I say evil, I mean, <sighs> this motherfucker, my throat chakra, you see that? Love and light, but yo, this guy, I'm, I, I got to say, this is the most <sighs> evil motherfucker evil incarnate so look what he does Mm, i get emotional because this is happening in the astral dimensions to people and their kids because they got tricked into that world because they were told that if you do drugs or you do that you're going to hell so what did they believe they walked i'm hearing they walked oh god it breaks my heart because they walked i'm uh, uh, i gotta tell you guys i have to tell you you need to know so this never happens to you. Don't fall for the illusion. So they walked up to like, I'm, I'm here in Heaven's Gate. Heaven's Gate. They walked up to Heaven's Gate and they told him, well, you drank alcohol. You did drugs. You know, you lied. You're go- you got to go to hell. And so all of them believed it because of religion or whatever they followed, right? So they went to this place that... In this place, they have fun, they party, they have a good time, they dance, they they have the best time ever, and then they get taken into this room, which looks like an airplane, but it's not. It's like a room, but it's it's shaped like an airplane. What I could see is that, that there were seats going down it. These kids could not be older than 18 years old. They were kids. And uh, so they took... <laughs> You guys, I don't just dream. Spirit takes me to them, like, to show me. So they took me. I sat down on these airplane things. And one good sign, okay? I have to tell you so you don't get trapped. You have to understand. It's it's tough because Spirit shows me this. But they know I can handle it. Because I woke up like, angry, motherfucker. I'm going to kill these motherfuckers, right? It needs to be said. So they sat us down on a thing that looked like an airplane. And we we were in in rows, right? In rows. And in these rows, the guy had these, when I say the most delicious looking cheeseburgers. Now, cheeseburgers and, and cooked meat is a good sign in a dream. It means I was there for a purpose, right? It's a good omen. And I ate the cheeseburger, which is a really good omen. To see meat in your dream and not eat it and it's not cooked, if it's raw, it's a ba- somebody's going to die or go to jail for a long time. Somebody's going to be gone for a long time. So, um... So we're sitting in the rows, and this is where it gets scary. And I, and this is a trigger warning for you guys. And these, again, I'm looking at 17, 8, 16, 15, 18 year old kids, and they're sitting in a row. And in front of me, there was a young man, and then another young man, and a woman, a girl, and then it was another girl, the girl that I was with, and the another girl who was my sister. It was in the dream. Now I don't know if it was my real sister or my other. I'm hearing your other sister. Whatever that means, okay? Um, we still have to figure that out. There's a lot going on with the family shit dynamics in the astral right now. But um, the other sister. So anyway, I'm sitting there. And this guy walks up to the first person on the chair. If you guys are just tuning in, I'm talking about a uh, where my guides took me on my astral travel last night. It was very intense. <clears throat> and we're talking about the kids and, and how everybody's being misguided into the wrong place, okay? So... Here's, it's a trigger warning, so I'm just going to let you know right now. So he he goes to the first guy, and he's, like, tempting people with this cheeseburger. And he's like, you're going to eat it? But I already took a bite. Now I'm sitting in the back of the plane. Mind you, it feels like I'm there, guys. This don't feel like a dream. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Because he was whoever ate the cheeseburger, the first guy, he smashed him into pieces with a wooden chair. And would not stop smashing him until his body was mush and he was on the floor and his his pieces. These, this, this kid was like 16 probably. All the pieces of his body were all over the airplane. <clears throat> then he goes to the next girl. He goes to the next girl. He wasn't killing them in a way that was easy. He was torturing them, right? Oh, yeah? Watch this. And then, like, he would wait and then you scare the shit out of me. I saw the, pe- the kids like this and think, please don't, please don't. And he's like, ah, evil motherfucker, bald head, son of a bitch. 
fucking crazy eyes, motherfucker. But he was human, though. That's the thing. He, but he looked human. That was the weirdest part about it. Because they work in these dimensions and they enjoy torturing people. Do not get tricked. But this is my point. So then he comes up to the other girl. Now I'm sorry. I'm yelling. I'm yelling. I'm so sorry. I'm just, mm, you know. Hey, guys. I'm talking about a dream I had and where my spirit guides took me last night and they showed me. And I'm, I'm telling you guys not to be fooled or tricked or be sent to hell by accident because you believe in it. Don't believe that hype no more. Don't believe that. Take that shit out of your mind. You're not going to hell. T take that out of your mind. If you don't get the fucking concept of you're going to hell out of your mind, this is what they're going to do to you. This is what I'm being told. And I said, these who the fuck do these people think they are? Acting like they were soldiers or fucking authority figures, putting everybody in the motherfucking, yeah, putting everybody in a motherfucking plane, talking about you're going to die next. Oh, don't you want this cheeseburger? People were hungry. They were up. They probably, they were stuck. Motherfucker, I just got a download. They were starving. They don't eat there. Wow, my guy, my guy. I can't, you know what? Flo, Flo, this is your mission. This is your duty. Fuck this. They don't eat there. They starve these kids in this dimension. They starve them. So it's like they're starving, right? So they're all they do is drink and party and drink and die. Yes, rude. They were demons, but like as humans. They don't, demons don't look like what we think they do at all they're humans they're just real evil fuckers who you know they that's their job now to torture people okay okay yeah please tell me i'm on the bus i'm trying to hear you my headphones aren't working oh good so please yell okay good so then so then i get to the fucking he gets to the girl that i was with and he goes to kill her. And, and I'm like, fuck. I'm like, and in my head, I'm thinking, well, somebody's got to fight back. We got to fight this motherfucker back. And he went to take, he gave my sister in the astral a rope. And he said to her, are you going to kill yourself? Go ahead and kill yourself or I'm going to do it. Mind you, he's cutting people, smashing them, killing them, torturing them. And then he gets to my sister and he gives her the rope and he goes, bitch, hang yourself. And she was like, I can't. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. He was like, I said, do it. And she wouldn't do it. So the girl that I was with in the dream the whole time, she fucking takes a fucking hatchet and slices his face open. But he's like, oh, he's trying to talk now. I'm like, I can't let him talk. So I grab him. I grab this motherfucker. I pull him back. And he's like trying to call them. But they're distracted. Nobody can hear them. All his like people couldn't hear them because they were busy fucking doing their own fuckboy shit. So I grab this motherfucker. And the people on the plane, this is what was pissing me off. The people on the plane in the area, not pissing me off. But I think I needed to do this to show them you can fight back. They're sitting there like this, stunned. I grab the dude and I start fucking choking him and I he he's still not dying. So I take the fucking whatever I was cutting him with. It was like a sharp scissor mirror type of thing. And I fucking slice the middle of his face open. <laughs> right? And he was fucking, yo, he was hard to kill, bro. Hard to kill when I tell you this motherfucker hijacks. We're talking about killing demons. <laughs> he was hard to kill. He was high. We're talking about killing demons. He was hard to kill. But yo, I fought him and he said, he went to scream and I was like, oh, I can't have that. So I took his head and I ripped it with my hands like this. <laughs> and all his... <laughs> I turned into a straight up beast in my dreams. And I love that shit. So, and now mind you, there's all these boys, young boys sitting right here on this aisle and then this aisle and I'm ripping the fucking demon's head off, right? And hello. Okay. And I'm ripping the demon's head off and I'm looking at the boys like do something. And they were like, they were like this. Like, oh shit. They're so programmed in this place. So programmed. There are thousands of kids. There was probably about 20 people there. That were killing them and all that. And it wasn't even that. It was like two people on the plane. And it was like fucking a thousand kids. Uh, I'm like, kids or not, you you need to start fighting back. So I fought the fucking demon, ripped his head in half. The other, everybody looked at me like, she's going to do it. She's going to do it. I came, I went, I thought it was a place that I was supposed to be. And this is the confusing part. If you get sent to these dimensions, you're going to think, is this where I belong? No, this is where you got to go to help these people. And some of the places I've been are scary. One of the places that I went to was like a jail. And in that jail, all these older men, they were all older men sitting there butt ass naked. And they were just like just crying. And these motherfuckers were whipping them. I mean, not just whipping them, you guys. It was bad. And I, w I, had a, I had a hood on. I was astral traveling. Whenever I astral travel, I have a hoodie on. I noticed that. Black hoodie. 
like you know like all mysterious with my hands in my pocket like this and I'm, I'm covered and then so in that dream they were beating the guys and i went hey and then they all turned and went huh what the fuck was that and i disappeared and i would go like that in a dream or like and i would disappear right so what is my message what is my message do not i'm talking to you right now i'm saving your life i'm saving your afterlife don't you fucking dare. Get the fucking concept of you're going to hell out of your goddamn mind. Don't you fucking fall for the trap. This is a starseed message. I am sent here to give humans the messages of what's taking place in these astral dimensions, which is why it is so hard for me, why I feel so tired and so drained, so drained, and I travel to these dimensions. My guides always protect me and watch over me, and as soon as it gets too intense, they kick me out, but I'm I'm killing demons. I'm fighting motherfuckers. I'm fighting for humans' lives, for kids' lives. Let me let me um do some some grounding out here because I already know I I could feel the vibrations of my feet coming all the way up because I was in my room earlier and it's like you know you understand my whole body felt like I was I was sleeping so I felt like I was being lifted from the from the bed. I was like zzz, and I was like <gasps> I like had to jump up because I felt like I was gonna elevate. So. So I'm, I'm going to sound like a crazy person talking about demons here. And I look all shocked because I just woke, I woke up at fucking 5.40 a.m. I woke up at 5 a.m. actually. And I couldn't sleep ever since that dream. So now these motherfuckers got you motherfuckers out here thinking that you belong in hell. Are you shitting me? I walked outside 5 in the morning like a zombie out of my sleep, out of my dream. And I walked outside. I was like... Right, and then I said, at first I was like, I was like, it's so sad. But then I was like, yo, no, fuck that. Who the fuck do these motherfuckers think they are? How fucking dare you? How fucking dare you? How dare you go and lie to fucking children? Children, you motherfucker. Children, you son of a bitch. How dare you do this? And they said, Flo, I'm telling you, there's people trapped in these dimensions. This is what I'm showing you. And it's for a reason. You need to explain to other people that if they do not, <clears throat> I repeat, if you do not stop believing in the lies that you're going to hell if you're bad, and you're going to heaven if you're good. There goes Dora walking in when I'm talking about the demons that I had to fight in my dream. And I mean, I fought the motherfucker. Ripped his head clear off with my bare hands. And you know what? I don't feel bad. <laughs> because he was trying to kill kids. He was he was killing people that I cared about, actually. And, and I told you because these kids, they were forced to not eat, to party constantly. It's like torture. It was torture for them. So it's like, oh, oh, you guys, you're the group that likes, this is how they work. The fake hell. I'll show you how. I don't know much about the spirit world, but I feel connected. I know a million things about it. They show me everything. They show me everything because you know why? I'm like, I want to see it all. And I go to the scariest places. And I don't even care because I want to fucking see what the fuck they're doing. I had a dream with a baby and a big rat. Oh, rats are for sure. Um, so they're very smart, actually. And they're very, um, they can maneuver into things very easily and they're smart. But a rat represents in a dream depending on the circumstance, if it's a baby, it's a rebirth, a new, like something being newborn or, you know, like happiness or something. But a, a rat could be like somebody being sneaky around you, right? You know, somebody's like looking behind the, watching, watching out, you know, we're clearing a lot. <laughs> Post shadow, Mac, Mercury and retrograde is one of the, for me, one of the most intense times. And I said, like, I know today and tomorrow and the next day, I'm probably going to go through some dreams and stuff, but I'm releasing all this after that. But why am I telling you this? Why am I telling you this? Why, people are like, well, you're telling us your dream. That's your dream. No, sweetie, sweetie. No, no, no. A dream is you got to sleep and then you have a dream. An astral travel projection taken by my guides is taken by, the, taken by the hand, being sucked into another dimension, being in there and living out what the other people are living out, doing what they're doing because I have to pretend I'm a part of that world. So that they don't get confused as to why the fuck am I there in their world. And so I'm in there and I'm fucking seeing children get fucking abused and tortured. 
and fucking murdered over and over again because they party and they're so you're bad you you belong in hell bitch and you know and this is how they're gonna trick you and if you don't get the fucking mentality out of your mind saying i'm gonna go to hell if i do this and i go to heaven if i do that if you don't get that out of your mind what happens is this is what they showed me they showed me people walking. Listen, man, I told you guys about the dream I had with a million cars going that way. And I said, I'm not going. I got out of the car and ran the other direction. I saw a fake Jesus behind a white light portal and telling people telling people to come inside. I'm Jesus. And I was like, you can't fucking do that. You are a fucking liar. And he was like, I can do whatever I want because they believe me. Oh. And the other guy came and he was like, you, why did you tell her that? She's going to go fucking tell everybody on earth, you dumb fuck. And I was like, you damn fucking right. The second I woke up, I fucking, because I'm like the fucking snitch of the astral world. You know what? And I don't care what anybody says. I'm not a snitch. I'm not a snitch. But I, I'm, I'm, you know what I'm talking about. I'm the whistleblower of the fucking demonic dimensions that trick people into believing Jesus is saving you. And you're here. When you, if you don't follow Jesus, you're going to hell. Honey, sweetie, bop, 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 bop. Let me tell you guys something right now if you motherfuckers don't wake up you're gonna be just another one of those idiots on this line like the rest of the idiots i'm sorry let's just i'm not gonna call them idiots because they don't know they're being tricked they're in this line they woke up to the gate hi what's your name the guy pretends he's looking at a list and then he goes oh he goes aren't you the one that likes to um party and and lie to people and what did you like to do what was your favorite bad thing to do on earth Oh, I know where you belong. You belong in that place with those with those people in that hell. And so you're going to go because you're going to believe this person's with Jesus or something like that. Honey. Mm -mm. I'm going to tell you another thing that a lot of people are not going to like. Jesus represents the Masonic code, right? So, you know, talking about the Illuminati, the secret societies, the number 33. Jesus died at the age of 33. The fucking highest degree in masonry you can get is 33. We have 33 vertebrae in our spine. There are 33 bloodlines, human bloodlines. The number 33 is the code to the, to the when you say the, um, the what is that? The Ark, not, not the Ark of the Covenant, the, the Holy Grail. That's the Holy Grail, the 33 vertebrae, number 33 with Jesus number 33 33 33 three, three, three. okay 369 Nikola Tesla said if you want to think and think of the universe thinking uh energy and vibrations of frequency and he said the number 369 he said I have to break the code the key to the universe is the number 369 the father the son and the holy spirit you have to understand something right now hi king I want you guys not to fall for the trap I'm here to, to, to help you not listen a lot of people are gonna be like she's crazy i'm out of here but those of you who know you know i'm saving your afterlife okay I, i'm saving your life right now and your afterlife you're gonna stop from today thinking that you're going to hell if you do this or you're going to heaven if you do that honey there's no such thing babe there's places like that they're made and created by humans but your job is to find yourself right that's your job right your purpose on earth is to find yourself to find out who you are you come here forgetting who you are and you go to find out who you are and when you find out who you are you're gonna find the source you know a lot of people don't want to go to source that's the ninth dimension of transcendence the source which is the very last dimension you know so it's like the seven the nine ten chakras it's the nine, nine chakras actually because they don't mention the other two the ninth one is like shoo, nobody wants to go there because when you go there you find out you're alone so when you, you don't want to be alone. So humans don't want to be alone because we're social creatures. So what do we do? We associate ourselves with these occults, these gangs, these, these religions, these witch, witch, uh, Santeria, whatever. And you end up in these dimensions and you're, and you end up in these dimensions is my point. You're going to end up there. If you don't find the source within you, if you don't find the source within you, the light within you, the connection that you are God and God is you. If you don't find that connection, not a yellow school bus passing by because like yellow is the color I associate with my spirit guides and a fucking yellow school bus passes by. If you don't find the connection between you and your own highest self source that you are God and God is you, you know, egotistically, I'm not talking whatever. I'm God. I'm God. No, baby, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about that, that name you call God. That is us. That is you. This is where we all come from. It's like, let's say a little bubble like this, right? And this is the, like, you know, who, who's the first, right? Oh, Jesus was the first. No, no, no. Muhammad was the first. No, no, no. Allah was the first. No, no, no. The Buddha was the first. No, no, no. Honey, think about yourself for a second. There are millions and millions and gazillions of people on this earth. 
There are millions of fucking saints, and I swear I just saw dark energy pass me by right there. There are millions of saints, millions of prophets, millions of witches, wizards, and all the good shit in the world. Where is everybody coming from? If they were all first, then how come we're not all just like them? And how come we're not all Indian? How come we're not all Chinese? Huh? Explain it to me. You know, what, what are you, a Darwin theorist? Um, yeah, we were monkeys, then we turned into humans. Are you kidding me? We are from all over. We're, f we're from everywhere, the multiverse. One is from planet Zorkalar. One is from planet Lyran. One is from planet Andromeda. And the other one is, the other one is from Source. You just came here as a new soul. Some of you are from different planets. You reincarnated from there. That's why you remember yourself being from a different place and you know you don't belong here. I mean, come on, you guys. You guys, you guys, I mean, like, you guys, like, you understand me, right? Yeah, we are all magic, and magic is not what people, oh, I'm going to put two dimes together and rub them, and then I hope this bitch dies. That's not magic. That's, that's, that's not magic. Magic is creating beautiful things and better things for this earth, and then it becoming abundant and repeating. And then let me get my cigarettes, because I'm going I'm to stay on here and talk to you guys for a little. I hope you guys are not busy, not going nowhere, because cause I still want to talk. But, you know, it's teach his own. Go with your intuition. But I wouldn't leave it for you because this is super cool. So. My throat is so dry. I just feel. One second, one second. So, um... That's how you know you gotta work out. I walked up three stairs and I'm like, <gasps> but I smell too. So, <coughs> so let me tell you guys. This is why you know you guys. I swear to God. Do you know what my guides told me this morning? Now listen to me. I am a supremely humble person, right? I am a very humble person. So when I hear my guides say stuff like this to me. Oh, good, good, Dora. Listen, because this is good. And, and this, I think I'm going to do class tonight and Sunday. I might do class live without showing you guys' faces on YouTube. Or even if you guys don't mind. Because I want to do a free class so everybody could join in. Because I want to talk about that ninth dimension of transcendence. I really would like for everybody to see that video. <coughs> Listen. My guide said something to me today. <sighs> Excuse me, guys. Bad bitch in training. A skinny bitch in training. So, okay. <clears throat> My guide said something to me important this morning. Because I'm so humble and because you're so humble, I'm hearing this is a message for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, because you're so humble, I'm going to do it on Zoom. But I'm going to do it on YouTube so you guys can join and watch it on YouTube. Or I'll do it on Instagram, Zoom, and, and YouTube. All at the same time, we'll stream. So what do you guys think about me doing like a... ASMR tarot reading like you know do all the signs and be like Aries today you're gonna have something great come in and then like I'll play with the cards and like swipe them a little bit I want to do that <laughs> okay I, I was watching an ASMR thing last night and these two hot bitches were making out and it made me like really horny I was like fuck I want to fucking I want a finger bitch right now I'm just kidding <laughs> but no 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 um, but yeah it was hot so um Listen, I'm so gross. I'm so sorry. I don't know. Yeah, I guess, you know, I'm a horny bitch too. You know, everybody gets horny. Mm. Mm. So now, my, my guide said something to me this morning. And because I'm humble, just like you, when you hear shit like this, like your guides are like, you're on a mission. And you're like, they can't be talking to me. I'm just little old Dora. You know what I mean? I'm just a short little cute girl with a big fat ass. No, I think you can't be talking to me. And I say the same thing, but you know what my guide said to me this morning? They were like, you're learning your purpose, like for real your purpose now. And it's like, you're going to see. First of all, they told me that like, I'm going to have a major career change and, and I don't know what it is, but I can sense it coming and I'm going to still do what I do, but like on a different, whole different platform and level. Right. So it's going to be like, I don't know, it's, it's going to change. Like they said overnight. And so, and then they said to me, Flo, the people that are, are watching you, following you and watching your videos. Hey baby. Hey Nils. Yeah, you're true. Being horny is normal. It is. But I, 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 
I keep that part of me locked down too. And spirit hates that because I've made sex a thing that I can't even do because first of all, I won't do it because spirit will be watching and I, I can't. Masturbation is not for you. It's for them. You know what I'm saying? They're like, she's about to, everybody, she's about to masturbate. And they're like squatting down, waiting for you to masturbate, jerking off on the side. No, I'm good. Thank you. I <laughs> think I don't know. I've seen them before. I've seen them in my dream. Spirit showed me when women masturbate, they wait there and they masturbate with you. It's fucking gross. Like, I'm not going to give you that time of day. It's not happening. You know? Um, besides, I'm in the house with my daughter. I don't want to bring that kind of energy around her so for me i believe strongly if you do drugs in the house have sex in the next room while your kid's sleeping you kind of invite unless you're married and this is somebody they get bored with that they want to see people do freaky shit that's what turns them on right so let me tell you my guy said to me flo um say this to them say why can't you say this to them i was like because it's gonna sound like i'm like like self-promotion that's not what it is it's not this is what they tell me they said to me you have these people that that like follow you on instagram i'm not saying follow me i'm not jesus but that follow you that let that resonate with you let's use that word that resonate with you and they like come to your classes watch your videos when you go live they go they're really listening like i know you think you think you're crazy sometimes and what you're saying makes no sense and people are looking at you like you're nuts because i do think that a lot i'm like am i fucking stupid like what am I? but then i'll look at the comments and the views i got because not because oh my god i didn't get enough views i could have 50 views if i get comments like 20 comments i'm like all right this touched some people right and that's my goal is to just, i just want to walk around and touch everybody <laughs> on their pee pee and their butt no, i'm just kidding so i was told by my guides today the people that watch your videos and the people that resonate with you hey jermaine jermaine hey and then the people that resonate with you and watch your videos they go you know what right i was like what she, you were like you were like you were like my higher self was like they came to you in this lifetime because you're helping them remember who they are and they're one of the powerful ones they're one of the chosen ones just like a lot of people are but they don't know it yet you become the chosen one when you recognize you're the chosen one that's what i heard some light workers some healers are you know very advanced which they told me i've i lived i, I heard hundreds of lifetimes okay i thought i lived like nine the other day i channeled a hundred and more lifetimes i've had a lot of them i've seen a lot of things and i had a lot of experience okay and so they told me that the people that resonate with me that watch my videos, I came to help you guys awaken. And because I'm giving you this information, I heard you're going to save so many star seeds lives in this lifetime and in the afterlife. Like instead of them doing, cause we, cause I'm hearing this strongly for a lot of us, like in the past few lifetimes, we were, um, we kept getting reincarnated back to earth for the wrong reasons. Because we forgot to remember who we are. And so in this lifetime, I finally, I kicked it. I've been like, you know, a high priestess and all that. Yes, I've done all that in many lifetimes. But previously, I'm hearing the last nine lifetimes were very rough for me. And it's because I chose them. Because before that, I was doing like goddess shit. Like, yes, come here. I'll tell you your secrets, your, your future. I was one of those like qu queenie, goddessy, like, you know, Aphrodite type bitches. Sitting back, getting fed grapes all day. And But then I went through the lifetimes that I needed to to learn the human experience. And I chose the most difficult one. I was sex trafficked as a child several times in several lifetimes. I was um, sold by my family. I was slow down. You fuck, fucking small ass neighbor. Um, fucking, ugh, I swear to God, you know, I'm not even gonna say no. I'm not gonna say no. I'm not even gonna say no. Mm -hmm. So, I bet I went through one the, the most difficult times. I was a singer, famous singer. One thing, somebody stole all my art. They took all my music, and they made money off of it. I was shown mad lifetimes. I was an Olympian, Olympic gold medalist. Okay, they showed me me because I love gymnastics and ice skating and the Olympics. I watch it, and I'm so enthralled by it. And I was like, and then they showed me me being an Olympic star, and I had like muscles and shit. I had a gold medal, and I was like, yeah, like on top of the thing. And I won. I was holding up an award. And it was crazy. And that's why in this lifetime, I, like, I, I did gymnastics my whole life. Anyway, the point is they showed me all these lifetimes, right? Um, I was a mafia person. I was a hit woman, assassin. I was a lot of different things, you guys. And I shit you not. I was shown all these dreams. I went through the Akashic Library. And man, it was intense. I was a lot of different things. So anyway, I'm here. And so were you, though. This is the message. So were you. You were, too. That's why you're getting this message. You need to know the same thing. Okay, so if you're dreaming about crazy shit, Mercury's still post shadow retrograde, and you're gonna, this is the, like the final countdown. You're going through, -na -na, I'm here, -na 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 -na. I'm hearing that song. I'm seeing Rocky run up the stairs and going, Adrian, like you finally gonna find your Adrian. 
oh my god i just channeled that you're gonna find your adrian and you know i watch my videos over because I, I a lot of times spirit will give me like one or two messages for me but they're for you guys they're for you guys i strongly believe that i'm here to channel for the collective the experiences that i go through helps me to channel better because i'm able to use what i experience and give back the knowledge just like you're gaining the knowledge and you're giving it to other people because i'm hearing a lot of you are actually giving other people this knowledge and you're doing great work great work be proud of thyself be proud of thyself <clears throat> you take medication oh, I, I hope you could stop taking that medication i'm sure if you need it for something i understand but i hope you could stop don't take anything that alters your state of consciousness okay like i'm not i don't take anything uh once in a while i'll take a little kratom i don't know if you guys know what it is it's a it's a herbal plant from um from Peru and it's used to like energy for people with ADHD it's used for all types of things but I use it sort of like an energy stabilizer and like when I'm too hyper I fall asleep on it it's like melatonin for me that's exactly what it is melatonin so um but during the day sometimes it makes me like a little more energetic like coffee but it's it's a coffee derivative right so it's a coffee plant and um and people that work in the fields they'll like chew this coffee plant so they could stay up and, and work all day like it's a it's a natural supplement you know and they and I try to get the one that they don't put extra chemicals in it's just natural and raw and whatever but i take that and because i'm in pain and i don't want to take um percocet so yeah i have bipolar disorder and i take medication now okay and if it's helping you you more than do keep doing it but if you could start meditating now while you take that medication because i had bipolar disorder i had adhd multiple personality disorder i had um bipolar type one i had de bipolar depression i had all of it so i had to get myself the fuck out of it and just walking outside here in nature i already feel more connected to nature and i'm telling you we got to get out of our houses i'm hearing this very strongly i'm here i know it's tough because it, your neighborhood i'm hearing you know you don't really like it it's not like a place dora i gotta take you up here i'm gonna take you up here for like a weekend one time and you can come up here and you're gonna fucking love it because we're gonna go in nature we're gonna go to the mountains right look at behind my house it's all mountains there's a high vibrating energy throughout this at nighttime there's always crafts and i should you not going from up there and they park in the fucking woods up there i don't know what's up there but there's they're stealing energy from somewhere up there and i know it because i see them go up and down up and down all the time so um it's very important to get outside and ground your energy you know why because i'm here and you're highly psychic you don't even know how powerful you are this is a message a message a message okay um yeah no this is not my house this is just my neighborhood my house is down there um so this is a message right um and and i'm gonna tell you another thing um i i want to say uh that this is the time like spirit is really telling you how powerful you are how much knowledge you hold and you have to understand that is why you're experiencing what you're experiencing especially if you've been down lately i'm here to get yourself outside listen to some fun music i'm hearing stop watching that depressing shit whoever you are if you're watching depressing stuff and all that see it's different for me i'll watch like um somebody getting killed or whatever and i'll watch it because i want to i want to learn things like what do people do and how does this happen how do they get caught and i'm interested in knowing all that but for those of you who are watching stuff and it's making you sad and you're crying about it i'm hearing spirits say change what you're watching enough is enough is enough you can't be watching that shit because you're highly i don't think you understand just this is another message and i'm hearing this for you the one with the bipolar disorder um rude this is a message for you spirit said i don't think you understand exactly how um how uh how how psychic you are or uh, how empathic you empathic that's what i'm hearing and dora i'm hearing supremely psychic i'm i'm hearing wait till i shoot i heard wait till you do the retreat you guys i'm gonna do this thing i'm doing this practice where all of us do like psychic work on each other and all that and i'm gonna have i have like such i have cute little games that i that i made up that we're gonna do together and i'm gonna you're gonna see wait i came up with some cool stuff and if you come up with anything cool let me know okay you could tell me Okay, so I got some more messages. We gotta work on that throat chakra. I'm hearing it's, it's tight right now. It's tight like, tight, tight like your pussy. <laughs> you need to maybe shove something down there. <laughs> or up there. <laughs> okay. Okay, listen. Some of you are going to be meeting your soulmate. This is divinely... Um, 
divinely set up like it's set up by the divine is my point whoever you're meeting this is gonna be like the one i'm hearing the one that got away this is your it's like you're linking back up in this lifetime you you've done this before with this person in a lifetime and something i'm hearing something in that lifetime stopped, held you two back from each other and and you had to like do your own karmic shadow clearing and all that stuff but you're gonna meet them and i'm hearing at the gym for some of you that i'm hearing at the gym or uh, you know when you get out there and you're gonna be doing something <clears throat> some of you may be going to like a physical therapist or a doctor somebody who's like gonna help you move your your, your body and i'm hearing this because spirit's showing me at the physical therapist and i'm not saying this for me that i'm gonna meet somebody or maybe it is but you're gonna meet somebody <laughs> so i want to tell you guys this is a message and i'm channeling this for you too i'm hearing I'm here in Starcy. Get your fucking tools and get your bag of tools and start getting to work because we're putting you on this right now. I'm hearing everything you're seeing, everything you're experiencing, especially the past six months. I'm here, nine months for some of you. The past six to nine months are going to propel you like to the like shoom, to the moon, Alice. And I'm seeing so much energy right now, and it's absolutely insane and i'm about to put my feet in the grass and ground my energy because it is supremely intense like we're, we're you're i'm here i'm here you don't even know the level baby the level baby baby ah oh, yes baby let me tell you something you don't even know the level at which you're attaining this knowledge right now or this psychic abilities okay i don't think you understand just how fucking psychic you are uh, or maybe you do huh? but i'm gonna tell you right now baby 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 I mean, you're about to fucking learn some shit, man. I'm telling you, you're going to... I'm hearing spirit taking you to like... Oh, I got you. Thank you. So they said something that's very important right now. Because sometimes I'm like... And I just seen a squirrel right there. So squirrel is busy, busy, busy going to work. You're going to be very busy coming up. Whatever you're doing, I'm hearing you're going to work with somebody. And I do see like you getting together with like me or something or somebody like that. And doing some spiritual work with this person. And actually making money together and, and creating stuff together. Ooh, child. Yes, baby. See, spirit brought you to me for a reason, I heard. I heard spirit say, yep, you know those things you create? The potions and magic stuff? I'm hearing let open up a shop together and do that i'm hearing that very strongly mm, hello hi dora so listen to me so you are about to experience the next level of ascension and this i'm going to tell you about this so you understand you're prepared it gets intense before you're about to phew, ascend i'm hearing spirit saying if you feel especially you if you deal with bipolar disorder or depression spirit said it gets intense and try to look at more i'm hearing look at it more as a spiritual thing instead of, is my face clearing up a little bit because like you know how i was right i was breaking out so heavily but i think it's getting a little bit better i just need to do some i need to do a facial that takes away dark spots anyway so yeah i'm gonna invest in that i don't care if it's 300 i just want to get my facial done okay so i'm gonna tell you right now spirit got you yep i see i feel it and i got chills i know you thought about this too i heard spirit say she th you were in my dream by the way dora uh two days ago we were in uh we were at like the track and it was like everybody's chilling out in the spirit world we were all having a good time and we were at the like racetrack or horse racetrack and you were at the top like you were at the top we, i feel like it was high school it looked almost like high school but we were having fun everybody's gonna having a good time and you were at the top and i went yo dora i told you i'm gonna see you in my astral dreams bitch do you know i said that remember i said to you i'm gonna see you in the astral what happened I saw you in the motherfucking astral. It was you. It wasn't a dream. I We were there. We were hanging out at some, like, cool place. We looked cute as fuck, by the way. I was skinny, bitch. Or maybe I'm seeing something that's going to happen. I was skinny, bitch. My stomach was... Mm. Snatch, bitch. <laughs> and I was like, God damn, I look good. And you were like, Okay, I see you. I was like, I told you I'm gonna see you in the astral. And you were like, Word. And you kept going. And I swear to God, you remember a dream with a racetrack? Okay, I'm telling you, listen. So I'm fucking, it's getting real out here. It's getting hard out here for ascension. But you gotta stay together, don't mention. You gotta be strong as fuck. Bitch, you about to run into some good luck. I said, your spirit guys told you the truth. Now they're going to give you all the money, boo. You're going to be spending that money the right way. Investing in your future, baby, baby. Hey, hey, something's happening. Something's happening. Something's taking place. You're about to win the race. Yeah, yeah. It's not a joke, not the theme song. I'm telling you, if I had my own TV show where I was like a medium for people and all that, and the beginning would be like, 
Do you wanna talk to dead people? Well, Flo got your back. Yeah, she gonna talk to the dead people that fucking with you. And she gonna make them go right back. Back to the light, the light, my friends. Cause Flo is here to the very end. She's a Flo, 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 Flo the medium. Ha! <laughs> you know? And I'll be like this in the beginning. Walking around with the ghost. I'm Flo the medium. <laughs> that should be funny. <laughs> Okay, so, um, so yeah, okay, what's up, babe, I'll let you know. It's because I never know what the fuck I'm talking about. Can I speak to you? I just, I just put you on my, on my request, and I picked, like, out of the beep beep boop up. Hi, Paul. Hi. I'm sorry, I, just, like, I don't even want to start crying, I feel so connected to you, like, I started, like, I follow all the BGC pages, which is so toxic because I love BGC, but, like, I, like, w saw that your reading that you did when you said that you felt like there was something bad oh, yeah, that was going to happen on Daddy's and it that. ended so up that's happening. That's crazy. That, that, that. So that's when I followed you. Can I just you. say that real quick? And then I want you to tell me exactly what you were about to say. Hold that thought. When that happened, Spirit told me, People are going to start to mm -hmm. see that what you're channeling is not just coming out of your ass. And I'm like, what are they going to see? I wake up in the morning. Everybody's like, she was right. She was right. Because at first I was like, they're making fun. I was like, I was like, yo, they were making fun of <laughs> right. me. They were like, because I was in the basement where we're fixing the house. And they were like, right. this broke bitch looking like life is being. I was like, yo, what the fuck? But then, like, an hour, like uh, the next day I woke up and everybody's like, she was right. Oh, like, I was like, yo, what happened? <laughs> and then I saw it. Yo, I'm telling you, I saw that shit in a vision the day before. I saw that shit in a vision. Oh, she froze. She froze. Get back. Get back. You froze. You froze. Ah, yes, Mia. Okay. So, yeah, that was crazy, man. That was crazy when everybody's like, you, you got to come back in, mama, if you can hear me. <laughs> come back in. That's why I need my own, my own show, my own mediumship show. Because me talking to spirit is funny. Like, you know, Tyler, I love all those mediums. I fucking love them so much. But they're not funny. They're not, like, interesting. They're just more, like, mad bland and blah, blah, blah. Like Teresa, you know? She's like, ow, oh, I see your father. Is that your father? All right, your father's telling me that he's eating pasta and he said he misses you. And him and Gemma want to tell you that your baby boy is being protected. Okay? <laughs> Great. With the fucking long ass nails. I, um, okay. Uh, hold on. Okay. So yeah, that's what I want. My own TV show one day. And I want to win an Emmy for changing people's lives too. <laughs> that's one of my things. Next, we have somebody who changed people's lives and the Emmy goes to Florina. Okay, I'll be like, oh shit! No, okay. God, that'll be me. I'll get on stage and be like, woo, woo, woo. People be like, Flo, you're a mess. <laughs> it's the Emmys. Okay, what were you saying? I'm sorry. Okay, so, okay, so everything that you've been saying, I've been connecting with heavily. Mm -hmm. And um, even the dream that you had the other day about like the stepdad and like the mom or whatever, that was me. Like when I was like, oh, younger, really? yes, that was me. Oh, wow. and, oh yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, you told me, you said it, you said it, you said it. Yeah. Okay. So I've been connecting with you heavy. So I've been like following your work or whatever. Yeah. So um, what you've been saying about my bipolar, a lot of things that have happened to me when I'm like manic or in psychosis, like I feel extra connected to the universe and it feels so intense. I can't handle it. You can't handle it. Okay. So I'm going to tell you something. I am picking um, one person to be a part of my classes for free. And I'm going to choose you because um, Spirit says that. God, don't tell me that. I'll no, no. Class. No, I'm gonna be. That's you need it. I'm gonna say why, cause spirits telling me right now, flow like, and I, I just feel like, who is this woman? Um, hold on. I think I'm hearing. I'm. I. I hear a name like Joe. Jonah. Joe. I don't know if this is you, but somebody's coming through for you. This could be a. So I don't. I don't think she's your grandma. She might be your great grandmother. I don't see her, or could be grandma. Oh she's my! Just great grandmother. My great grandmother passed away. Okay, I know. Um, I, I, I knew her, though. Right. Well, we hey, called so her Nana, okay. but I don't okay. know her real name. Okay, good. So you know her, because um, I'm hearing A and the letter J. I don't know what that means, but I'm hearing that. And, and S and T. I'm hearing those initials. So maybe you could ask your mom or whatever, see if they have any. They might be in her first and last name. But um, so what I want to say is the first thing she said to me, and I heard, like, and I know that it's coming from them, because that's why I don't pick people to go on my, my live often, only because... Nobody really requests it, and when they do, it's, you know, I do pick people, but, like, not 
often. But yeah. this is what I heard when I saw your name, the request. I heard, please take her on the live. And I was like, okay. And so when I heard that, uh, instantly a woman came through. She, like I said, she shows, and this is why I said it's not a grandmother, it's a great grandmother. This is why. Because she showed me herself as like older, like real older, meaning she wanted to show me I'm not, I wasn't young when I died, was my point. She was older. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, she was. She was really okay, older. Okay, that's what I'm, right. I'm saying. So she showed me that, but she said to me, please pick her. Please pick her. So I picked you, and then instantly your guide said, you have to put her in your classes because you have a gift, a very powerful gift, and all you need to do is tune into it. I'm hearing within eight, within, I'm hearing six to eight months, you're not going to be on medication no more after you start learning these things to do. It's you're needing to tune into your gifts. Okay. So, and yes, I'm going to tell you, continue your medication. Do not ever, you know, do what you got to do, what feels good. But when you start learning techniques, which I'm going to teach in the classes, I'm going to teach them all the time anyway, but the classes are more one-on-one -on -one. you get to talk to me about your personal feelings and i i really listen to people a lot in the classes too i let them talk and you know it's like sharing yeah. like um the concept that i had was like i don't know if you know what na or aar when people go for alcoholics yeah so, i i've been in a mental hospital a lot yeah, and that and, and we have had stuff like that, that. Me too. yeah i've been to the, i've been to like six times in a mental hospital yeah because i didn't know what was wrong with me and no matter what, and this is why Spirit has me talking about it, because they're like, watch, she's going to say the same thing. Every time you went the first couple of times, like, nobody could figure out which illness you had. It took a while for you to get yeah. diagnosed, is what I'm I hearing. did. And I they did. still don't have the diagnosis correct. I just want you to know that. Wow. They still, and I know, I think you know that. You, you're like, there's something else going on with me. So one of the things I'm hearing is, um, do you get hyperactive often? Uh, yes. That's my mania. Like, I get hyperactive, and I want to, like, do a bunch of things and I just like and then, you, then I crash. I was about to say you like you'll start doing the stuff, you'll go crazy, you'll um sorry, hold on one second because I want to finish this. Um you'll go crazy like you're you're you do what I used to do when I when I was so called bipolar AD. I would sometimes stay up for two days and, and this is when yeah. I wasn't using drugs. I was not using drugs at these times. But drugs just made it sometimes worse. So when you're when what you have is, I'm, I'm just telling you they they still have not diagnosed you correctly. The reason why I'm saying that is because, and I'm gonna go out ahead and say, make a bold statement, guys. Please don't get mad at me. No, I won't. I'm, I'm gonna say that's because you don't have any illness. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna go on a limb and say there's nothing wrong with you. It's mm, just you yeah. too. Just like a lot of people on this earth just need to learn to work with the energy that's what it is so i do feel like you're very um i'm here in psychic for sure for sure psychic yes like a couple things have happened like times where like i dream a lot and things have happened and i'm like i i feel like i've been here before or i feel like i've seen this it is the weirdest thing you're also a channeler just so you know that and now i'm gonna tell you why you're gonna know if you're a channeler so sometimes when you get into that hyperactive mode, this is for a message for a lot of you here though, okay? Let's ground it, let's clear it in the left leg, please. Let's clear it, you see how I work with the energy? If I feel something I'm uncomfortable with, I instantly say it out to the universe, okay? okay. Yeah. So um, we gotta learn to not let them manipulate us, but in turn, we manipulate them. Okay. Because as I tell spirit, love and light to you, but if you're not working with me, you're working against me. And if you're working against me, you will be removed. Exactly. That's how, that's how I work in my world. And if you don't like it, go to somebody else who's weaker. And when you do, they're still going to come to me and I'm going to help them get rid of you. So regardless of what, don't play with me. You know Period. what I'm saying? And, and, yeah. and being fearless and, and knowing when you start, I want you to start with today telling yourself, I don't have an illness. I have a gift. Wow. That's like From intense. Today, you're going to start telling yourself these words. I don't have an illness. I have a gift. I just haven't tuned into it. And I will. And once I do... I won't need to take medication. I won't need none of this shit anymore. And I'll be okay. Every day from today, I do not have an illness. I have a gift. Okay. I don't have an illness. And I want you to believe it. That's what I started telling myself every day when I was getting off bipolar medication and ADHD medication. Every day I would say, this, I'm not sick. I just, I'm gifted. You know, that's, yeah. the, that's the documentary I want to make. I'm, you're not sick. You're, you're gifted. I felt I'm, things that feel like out of this world. Like I felt like I met somebody like, and it changed my life. That's why I ended up on medication. I met somebody that I felt so spiritually connected to. It was insane. And I couldn't tell if they like put a hex on me or if it was a love spell or what it was.
but it was it was like the spirit world was drawing me to this person but they kept like rejecting me so i was like okay i have to like i have to stop i'm gonna tell you something um when you're in a vulnerable state when spirit sees you in a vulnerable state that's either drugs or something that you deal with the truth something just dropped right on my left side when you're in a vulnerable state or when you're dealing with depression or anxiety or these things, spirit will take full advantage of people like that. And so the second you open up that gateway and say, I'm sick, I have ADHD, I have disabilities. When you say those words, now you attract those kinds of spirits around you. And now what happens is when you meet people, their entity attachment can recognize the vulnerability mm -hmm. within you and they can manipulate the fuck out of it. So you have to be real careful about who you allow into your energy and I, space. And I felt like that ever since okay good and so what i want you to know and i'm not you know i'm not the end all be all but i i work with spirit that wants to heal people and that's what i'm all about and if it ain't about that they can take a fucking walk right what i'm gonna say is if you're dealing with anxiety bipolar depression adhd uh multiple personality disorder uh bipolar uh one that bipolar two all of those illnesses that are being labeled left and right um, you know, when, when you think about ADHD, ADD, I always say attuned to different dimensions. That's what that stands for. Mm. Bipolar disorder means you could feel sad spirit, mm -hmm. you could feel happy spirit. Mm -hmm. But then when you feel sad spirit, it bothers you. You know why? Because you're highly empathic. I am. You are, yeah, when you're highly empathic, now, mind you, around your home, I'm hearing somebody in your house definitely has a hidden depression and they don't talk yeah. about it or somebody you know. Mm -hmm my sister but it's not hidden like she it's like really okay. she doesn't like to talk about it but we all know she has it um um i would i would really talk to her about maybe even a sitting in for some of the classes with you if she can mm -hmm. on zoom, on zoom we'll she's you only 16. that's okay that's okay. even better even better because okay. now i'm going to teach her that she's gifted and she's going to learn from a young age there's nothing wrong with you. You just have a gift. And okay. I'm going to make her see that she has a gift. And from there, she's going to, it's going to change her life. So I would tell her, you know, and she'll like that. Her older sister hanging out with her, you know, with all her friends. Okay, whatever. good. Be like, okay. you got to come in, you know, I'm going to, it's going to help you. Be like, this is all about, this girl talks about people who are bipolar and depressed. And she said, you're gifted. And she wants people to learn that they have a gift. And everybody who's dealing with depression, bipolar disorder, you're picking up spirit. You're in tune. You are so sensitive to energy. Hey, Nika, you're sensitive to energy so much, babe. And everybody who's watching, listen to me. Listen to me. I'll be in the house and my mom's, my mom's not feeling good. Guess who wakes up feeling sick? Me. Because I feel yes. everything she's experienced. So I want you to understand that. And I'm, I want you to DM me and um, we'll get you in the classes. But I want to tell you that, that your great grandmother wants you to know. First of all, this was a, I'm hearing an occurring theme within the women in your family, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to break generational curses. <laughs> you will do that. And you will be the one to do it. It's you. Yes, it's you. It's, it's you. You hold the key. You hold the key. Yeah. You break through, your sister's gonna break through, and everybody's, and then you're gonna help your sister with all the knowledge information you learn from the classes when she can't attend. Um, yeah, I'm gonna record them, and you're gonna. I've been through. trying to like work with her to be like, I've been through this, like I can help you, but she's not listening. No, because you're her sister, she's not gonna listen to you. So you, what you want to do is even maybe have her on her own phone in another room so she doesn't feel uncomfortable when you're. Yeah, because you know how we are shy about that. Right. Yeah. So you tell her, listen. And if you want to join the girl, let us come for free. Say they're expensive. Like she, she changes people's lives. This is my bitch. It's flow from bad girls club. She, she was on TV. She's gangster. Like tell her teenage stuff. Like I'm cool. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. And I mean, I'm saying that because you got to say that. Kids will be like, I don't want to fucking. I don't care. Yeah. But, She's um, like that. Yeah, yeah. So tell her. Tell her. What's her sign? Ah, uh, damn. She, she was born September eighteenth. Uh, I don't. I'm not good with. You signs. know that in my head, I said she's a Virgo or a Cancer. Yeah. She's a Virgo. Okay. Like me. That like makes me. a lot of sense. She's a that like makes a lot of sense. What's your sign? What's your sign? I'm a Taurus. Okay. So you guys definitely butt heads a lot. And yeah. it's because you have two very strong type A personalities. And that's another thing is you're perfectionist. Taurus people are literally meant to work for God on earth. Did you know that? Did you know that Taurus, the bull, is the constellation to the sun, which is the gateway to heaven? There's, no, a there's Taurus, the bull, and on it, and every ancient Egyptian thing, in the back of the bull, there's a square, and everybody thought it was, like, ripped up, you know, old uh, relics, so they're all messed up. No. In every single one of them, Taurus has the bull, has, right by his ass, there's a square thing mm -hmm. there, and the Mayans said to have broken that code, and they went into, I'm looking at the sun, and it's hitting my, my face so hard. Every once, every four to 5,000 years, the sun 
gets this black hole in it. Look it up. Uh, the sun with a square black hole. And it is believed to be that that is the gateway to heaven. And Taurus holds the key to that. Do you mm -hmm. hear me? Do you hear me? I hear you. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, believe in, I believe in so much spiritual stuff. And I've been getting a lot of, like, messages sent to me, like, through social media or whatever, about the spirit world. So I've been, right. like, tuning right. in more. But it's like there's a lot of people who are who use it for oh, like, yes. the wrong reasons. I, oh, listen, this is the point though. You see, one of the things that I love to do is teach people, you're learning about the spiritual world, but you are still a human. Right. So you have to experience human experiences. You can't be all spiritual all the time. However, if you hang out with me, of course, everything that happens, I'm like, did you see that? A bird just flew right there. I'm gonna point everything out because I'm very in tune with everything. However, I still know how to be human. You know, I still know how to do human shit. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And, and and have fun and stuff like that. I just, you know, I've been doing massive shadow work. So I told myself from now on my goal, I wrote down my goal. You know, everybody has a goal, lose weight, do that. I said, smile more and laugh like crazy. Okay. So um, we are, yeah, we, I would love, you know what I want? I want, I wish if I, let's say tomorrow I won like $10 million, right? Let's just say this is one of my dreams. Mm -hmm. I would take, I would take for like a hundred thousand dollars, a bunch of you guys on a bus and we would all go to ayahuasca and Peru with a shaman and fucking change our lives and come oh back. Oh, my God. I, I, that would be that amazing. That cures depression. It cures heroin addiction. Yeah. A lot of those a things. A lot of things. Mm. And I've seen a lot of that. Like, you talk a lot about your addiction. I've seen a lot of that in the mental hospital. I have, a, like, I've had friends who dealt with addiction problems. It's an illness, and people will go through it, and a lot of people don't sympathize with it. That's another it's thing. They, people don't, people and don't you got to respect just, people who do yeah, that. Yeah, listen, hard. listen. Just like bipolar disorder, just like AD, all these anxiety and all that, drug addicts are not drug addicts. They're also, they're self-medicating they don't understand yes. what's wrong with them and then the, here's what happens they do drugs and then doctors tell them you're bipolar you're depressed no it's not that they're all ignoring their gifts and when we ignore our gifts we keep ignoring them guess what they come poke at you in a different way mm -hmm. oh you don't want to pay attention to me you want to dull your fucking spiritual self out here you go here's drugs here's this here's that because you're gonna find ways to to escape right mm -hmm. and so some people escape through gossip some people escape through hatred some people escape through jealousy envy all of that but one thing you need to all of you watching whoever's watching if this helps anybody out there i'm gonna tell you right now you're not sick you're just gifted and you don't mm -hmm. know that yet and i'm gonna t i'm gonna have you say this to yourself every morning wake up and be like it took me so long to even admit that I had a mental disorder. And I've, I'm, like, so grounded in the fact that I'm, like, okay, I have bipolar. I have bipolar. Yeah. Okay. It's hard for me to, like, get out of why that. Do you think, why do you think it took you so long to admit it? Because, because I genuinely to... didn't think anything was wrong with me. Because there's not. Like, like, Spirit was trying to have you find another way to explain and to, to work with yourself and what's going on. But finally, you caved in and you just said, fuck it. I'm going to yeah, say Yeah, I that. ended up like going to jail like for this is what i'm like, saying this is what i'm saying i, I was gonna say to. i was gonna say because pe people around you started questioning what the fuck yeah. is wrong with you so you yeah. said when you said i have bipolar disorder everyone accepted it okay oh i get it now you're crazy you know what i'm saying and when you walk around and you talk yeah so never again i want you to never say i have bipolar disorder again say i have a gift and i'm learning how to how to tune in okay. i'm not sick okay. i'm gifted every morning and every night when you meditate even if you can't meditate well, I'm going to teach you. The classes will teach you. And I'm also going to do a live, maybe on, excuse me, tonight. Mm -hmm. I'll do a free class and everybody can tune in. We're going to learn all about meditation and speaking good words into your existence. Okay? Manifestation really does work like this. You say something. I want to lose weight. I'm losing the weight. I see my stomach going down. I'm losing weight. I'm eating less. You got to act like you're doing it right now. So, like, when you talk to people, be like, I'm losing weight. You know, I'm... I'm it's not lying. You're manifesting. Don't say, oh, my God, you know, I want to lose this weight. But every time, yeah. I just can't. Not, it, and yeah, I've is, been trying to lose weight. Yeah. And listen, so what you're going to say from now on, these words, from everything that you do, there's a little simple way to tell you. Mm -hmm. every, I have bipolar disorder. I'm not, I don't have bipolar disorder. I have a gift, and I need to learn how to use it. I want to lose weight. Now I want to lose weight. I'm losing weight. I'm learning how to eat healthy. I enjoy learning how to eat healthy. I enjoy losing weight. I can't wait to see myself in the mirror two months from now, five pounds lighter. You see what I'm saying? You're going to start talking like it's happening and everything. So, wow, that really makes me angry. 
you know what? I honor my anger and I'm tuning into this and I want to see what makes me so angry about it so I can learn from it. Mm. And so, but then if you have these moments where your shadow self comes in and starts cursing at you, telling you, it's doing that for a reason. It's teaching you. When you start to see the negative as not negative and mm -hmm. as it just is, it will change your fucking life. Nothing's negative. Nothing's bad. Even demons are not bad. They don't know they're doing it. How can someone be bad if they don't know? They're, they're right. in that world. So if you went up to a demon and you were like, you're a fucking bad person, what you're doing? They'll be like, huh? What do you mean? Like a puppy with their eyes. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. This is what right. I do. This is what I do. You know? So we can't judge them because they're stuck there and nobody helped them get out. They stood there. That's why we have to send love and light to everyone. Okay. Sometimes you got to rip somebody's head off, but that's okay. You know, you do that and let them know, motherfucker, I ain't the one. You know what I'm saying? But right. um, so I'm telling you this and I'm telling you for, for your own good, for everybody else's own good. Please, guys, I want you to understand something. I, I, and I have to say this again. I healed myself from bipolar depression, mm. from anxiety, ADHD, insomnia, PTSD, mm. uh, multiple personality disorder, drug addiction, mm. physical sicknesses. I had a blood disorder, my fucking knees, my back. I healed myself from Chiron, the wounded healer. That is what we are. Mm. We heal ourselves and we become like Chiron. And from helping one person heal, it helped. The more you help someone heal, the more you're going to heal with these people. Mm. So, your purpose and those of you, right, I am healed from all my illnesses. Dora, I promise you, within a year, fucking with me, you're not going to have lupus anymore, babe. Mm. I promise you. Just tell yourself every day, my blood is healing. My, you know, also, of course, what you eat, put into your body is going to be important. We got to start really it's focusing all of that. on that. Uh, yeah. yeah, maintain in ourselves instead because you know sometimes we're lazy so if we're lazy if you're in the mood to make a meal sometimes when i'm lazy right but i'm in a mood to make a meal or because sometimes I'll, I'll be like i don't feel like doing shit today then one day i'll be like oh i make my ginger juice my green juice i make my my cabbage soup and I, what i do from now on is i make like a four-day supply while i'm hyper like that yeah you see what I'm saying? exactly okay so you could be ready for it and and i love you and, I and, love you and too. The universe oh, loves I've, you. I've connected with you since VGC. Even though it's a very toxic show, I've connected it's to fine. you. It's when fine. I watched you on there, I said, this woman is real. Like, she is an authentic it's, person. It's and amazing. I still feel it's that way. It's amazing that spirit took me to that, like, to that place. When, we, when I went on Bad Girls Club, my whole family was like, you're not a bad girl. Because I was like the angel. I was going to, I was the one right. going to the mosque. I used to clean, cook. I was home all the time. I worked fucking three jobs at 16, 17. I was always a hustler. I always made money. I, like, I remember being 16. You can tell about, you were different from them. Yeah. And, you know, and I, I went there to have fun. And then, you know what? But the thing is, they they made me see that I did have a bad girl side inside of me. And she was waiting to come out. And, and thank God she did when she did. Because maybe it would have came out later. The point is, though, spirit just like that thing happened and you got led to me for that nobody and nobody none of you are led to me for no reason that's I tell true you right the fuck now and none of you guys here because uh flow's entertaining no something in your aura and your spirit and your soul says not that i need to learn from her i need to learn from me because i am you i am your mm. higher self i am your okay. higher self i'm not another person i'm not an individual i'm literally the person you are going to become like or are already being that person just like i am you i have aspects of you you have aspects of me none of us are separate from each other you don't resonate with people that don't resonate with you when you're in tune if you're not in tune what happens you don't let anybody into your fucking life yeah come on tom that's true here. let's go that's true but we ain't on that level and baby. we just talked about that at the other day you was on live you talked about and i told told you that i've been trying to be careful the people that i allow in my life oh no you don't try answered your don't own question don't try you fucking do, do it because i'm gonna tell exactly you, especially when you're bipolar especially we everybody's bipolar but when you're trying to get out of that state again now you attract a lot of different people and energies around you and they come around you and guess what knowing that you don't feel well yourself what do they do put all their burdens on you they just dump it all on you here you mm. go do they or do they not True. come to you for advice True. for everything are you not trying to yeah. help people you don't even yeah all the time when you were yeah. in rehab i guarantee you in rehab you gave mad people advice in there i don't even you don't have to tell me i know you all the mental that. hospital i just yeah. saw you sitting with people and giving them full advice like you're a yeah. doctor People talk, come to me for advice all the time. Okay. And it's a lot. Listen, it happens to a lot of people, but not like some of us. <laughs> some of us, like, we'll out, you ever, who has ever been in the street randomly? Raise your fucking hand because I know I'm going to hear a bunch of you say it. 
You're randomly in the street. You get in a store. An old woman or, like, a person who you see, they're, like, a little slow. There's something wrong with them. Why do they always come talk to you? Yeah. They're always, like, and you'll conversate with them. You know, I, like, I was in a deli the other day. This girl, she was, you know, you could tell she was slow, older. <gasps> Look. It's a heart. Look. I should you not. Hold on. Let me see. Do you see that? Hold on. <gasps> it's it? like a water. It's like a heart. but It's, it's like a water, water heart. Heart. Let me see if you can see it right there. You see it? Look, oh it's literally a heart. Look. And it's like the perfect heart. Are you heart. kidding me? That's insane, dude. This is what I'm saying. Look, it's perfect. Like the, it's what's, like that. Okay, so I don't understand these signs. Like the universe, like I'm not good with spiritual work. That's why I okay. feel like it's important for me to take your class. So when you see signs like that, because my friend was talking about how he sees like 9-11 a lot, the numbers 9-11. So he'll oh. see like like angel numbers or stuff like that. It keeps reoccurring. And, so, I, and I've been telling him about you. So, and he's like, oh, no, it's not real. No, I'm like, no, spiritual no, no, work no. is so a real tell, thing. Tell your friend. Tell your friend him seeing 9-11 constantly. See, everybody goes through it. When you see 9-1-1, the number nine is the number before the number 10, right? It's before completion. Mm -hmm. The number 11 mm -hmm. is a new beginning, new, something brand new, fresh coming in. You're almost at the verge of beginning something new. You're like right there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when you see 911, spirits, 911, pay attention. You need to change this so you can move on to the next level. You feel me? Mm -hmm. You see things like 10, 10. Look up the meaning. The number 10 is completion. So I'm going to give you We guys, looked it up. We looked it up. And I told him. Still don't understand what it yeah. is. Because it's, it's hard. How, so this is why you have to do, you have to do investigation. You got to be your own detective, mm -hmm. right? So I'm going to tell you guys the most simplest things. The number one stands for new beginnings. So anytime you see the number one in a message, you know that they're talking about new beginnings. The number two represents balance and harmony, right? Be bringing balance and harmony into your life. Number three represents your connection to the divine. So spirits telling you, you're here. We're, we hear you. We heard your prayers. We're listening to you. We got you that you're being fully supported at this time. The number four represents work. Anything to do with working on yourself, brand new job coming in, work, 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 right? The number five. Changes, mm -hmm. changes, changes. Now, when you see them four, 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 three, 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 this is like a big message. Mm -hmm. You're a lot of work's coming in, or number five. Oh, you're about to change something. The number six represents family. So when you see five, five, six, big change, something with the family, right? Mm -hmm. Four, two, two, four, two, two. Work and balance coming in, right? The number seven represents the seven chakras, the holy grail of everything. This is your higher power. This is connecting to a source higher other than yourself. And whatever source that is to you that represents divinity and ascension, that's what you got to do. I, like I should be taking no, notes just, right now. Let's just rewatch the video and okay. write it down. Like, it's very simple. It's very simple. Once you learn what these numbers mean, now every time you walk, oh, look, number three, three. Number 339. Oh, so something has to do with the universe is supporting me. And I'm seeing the number nine because I'm about to complete something because after nine is 10. So completion, right? Um, so, okay. So number eight has to do with abundance. So right now I just look and I see 338. Yeah. The divine, the, 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 the divine is bringing me some abundance. 338. Uh, number nine, almost there. Complete cycles almost over. You're almost there, baby. Keep going. Number 10. You fucking finish the cycle. Mm. Once you go to number 10, you start seeing the 10, 10 a lot. Now you're going to start seeing one, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, four, five, six. That means your next steps, next mm. stages, next. Mm. You will learn. Once you get acclimated with these, with number one through 10, every time you see a number, you'll understand it. You'll be like, oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. You know, then there's other ones I don't get. And I just look it up and I think about, what was I thinking about just now? One of the best ways to know a sign, right? Mm -hmm. You're driving the other day i sent somebody money so she can get a babysitter because she doesn't get a break from her child so i wanted her to get a break this is my friend a very close friend of mine sent her 100 bucks and she was like what the fuck no she's like no you're a single mom like you shouldn't be doing that you know you i said listen i want you to do me a favor because i will I'm, i know someone will do this for me go and get a babysitter for your child and um spend the day relaxing and sleeping you know what she did she got the babysitter you know what she did all day she slept mm -hmm. dude that's mm -hmm. how you know how desperate she was she she didn't go out she just slept right mm -hmm. so there we go and now i'm driving and i was thinking in my head well i'm really like grateful that i can do this for people right now i'm not rich but when i am wealthy i'm, I'm always going to do the right things for people i'm going to give as much as i can and i said i hope that the universe sees that 
a vulture passes right by my car. Two crows pass right by my car. When the spirit like is, seeing a vulture is very rare. I've never and, even well, seen. Well, I look up seeing it's rare too here. But when I see one, I'm like, okay, big message. Vultures wow. are extremely. First of all, believe it or not, even though people are like they're gross, they're they're a beautiful bird, mm -hmm. beautiful. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, they clean up the dead carcasses on the streets. All of, most of the carcasses that are being cleaned is from bird. Vultures will wait to your dad to to eat you. They don't eat alive things. They want you dead and just not moving and no don't put up a fight right. so it's like cleaning up right cleaning up your your the mess that's left they're there to clean it up right the crows the crows when you think about what do a spirit animals mean and i'm talking to everybody right but you at the same time hey Flo, i notice all numbers all the time i educate myself on those numbers that's awesome keep doing that because when you do that your guides will talk to you more the more you pay attention to the signs the more they send them to you but if you're like no nah, they don't they don't send they them. don't show them yeah yeah so i want to say this real quick and then i'm gonna i'm gonna let you guys go and take a little walk and if you can please go for a little walk go up and down clear your mind I ground need to go. my mom tells me all the time i have to you go for a walk listen to me listen to me if you don't start doing that you're letting those things control you and keep you in the room where they want you yeah you're right right if there's right. negative energies, where do they want you? Right there where they can control you. When you're out into the nature, you're connecting and tuning into God. Mm. You're clearing. You're doing grid work. This is grid work. I'm going to show you what grid work is. So this is simple. This is called grid work. Hello, tree. I love you. Mm. I love you. How are you doing? grid work i just touched a tree i talked to it i said i love you i kept walking every time i take a step when i'm walking i'm clearing i'm grounding mm. i'm clearing and i'm grounding i'm clearing my aura and i'm grounding all negative thoughts are leaving me with every step i take a negative thought is leaving my mind with every step i take i get more powerful and i talk to myself while i'm walking out of nature and i keep doing it and i'm starting to say to myself i got to do it more too because the shoulder surgery and it was the car accident yeah i, I saw that the other day yeah. uh, is your shoulder okay yeah it's doing great i heal very quickly that's another thing i need you guys to know you can heal yourself physically very quickly. It all depends on you and the work you're amount of, amount of work you're willing to do. Okay, real quick though, I know I talk a lot, but I have a lot of information and I want to give it yeah. all to you guys. One thing I want you to know, when you see a spirit animal, an animal, right, mm -hmm. in your dream, ask your spirit animal to visit you. Mine was, she came to visit me finally, her, because I've seen other animals in my dream. I have a lot of spirit animals, but this one, she just touched my soul. She came out of the sky and she was purple, pink, fuchsia all these gorgeous reds and yellows and they, she was just this gorgeous fucking bird and she had an owl's face but a phoenix's body wow. so she came from the sky and i was like oh my god and she was like like she came flying down so i was like this shit's gonna attack me and then she came puts her head on me and starts rubbing herself against me and i saw her eyelashes and we were i was like i love you and she was like like i love you i'm your spirit animal hi like she was so excited to meet me like as if she's been waiting for me to call on her and then i finally did and she goes i'm with you everywhere everywhere you go i watch the skies i make sure nobody's around if someone's around and it's unsafe i'll tell you watch out don't go that way you know what i'm saying I I feel like I've been told like a certain thing my whole life. Like my family's Christian, they're Jamaican. I feel like I've been told a certain thing my whole life. And I've recent I've for years now have decided to be independent and go on my own. But um I've been connected to spirituality. So like stuff like that kind of scares me a little bit right. because it's the unknown. But I feel like there's so much things that happen in the universe that we're just not connected to. And yeah, like I mean it's how can we connect scary, to that? But so like your spirit you animal, like if my spirit animal came, I might be scared. No, you will not be scared because when they come to their pure love and Okay. And, and, and you'll feel it. And you'll feel that animal spirits have come to me in my dream i had two big lions come to me of course in a dream at first i'm like oh shit but then they come they're like he was like one the girl and the boy and they were rubbing themselves on me and rubbing themselves on me and then a big ass bear came ran after me and i was like oh shit and then he went and grabbed this guy who was fucking with me and he like threw him to the side your spirit animals are very protective over you mm. so when you see you'll know who your spirit animal is is when you watch an animal interact in nature and, and whatever, 
you can't help but to feel supremely connected to this animal. Like I always say in my head, I probably could walk up to a lion and just give it a kiss and it would it would kiss me back. I think that in my head, I'm not going to do that, but I think, <laughs> right. That, right, or the Black Panther is another right. big one for me. At least I always get the cat because I know I'm connected to cats. So whatever you feel connected to. The most simple way you can know about animals, first of all, when you see a spirit animal, remember, what were you thinking about? What were you doing? What did you ask the question of? And then from there, you'll know why that animal's visiting you. It's telling you, I'm here for you. I'm watching over you. Now, to know what it means, very simple. Mm -hmm. Look at the characteristics of that animal, mm -hmm. okay? So in Egypt, they loved the beetle, right? The beetle, why? People thought, like, the be they were worshiping the beetle. No, um, the beetle will take mm -hmm. dumb shit, right? It's poop. But it's for it's fertilization, it's fermenting, it's for a bunch of stuff. You poop, grows mushrooms, it does a whole bunch of miraculous things, even though we fucking think it's disgusting. And they looked at what does that thing do? They learned how to build things because of it. So this beetle would go up a hill and it goes and it makes a ball and it keeps gathering the ball, it gathers the ball. And not only does it go up the hill, but he carries his wife on him while he's doing it. And he pushes this ball up the hill and he keeps Do grabbing you feel like that's him. how the Egyptians learn how to build the pyramids? Right. Exactly. Wow. This is my point. That's why they're all over the place, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, if we just grab it, let the material gather as we do that, they looked at stuff that they were using the animals and they used everything the bee the 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 beetle all these things that's why they they're not worshiping animals they're teaching you that's how they learned how propellers look at look at helicopters they look like right. um exactly like dragonflies that is a dragonfly in the sky you see what right I'm you? this is how they learn and so what you want to know when you're looking at spirit animals mm -hmm. it's real fucking simple what does this animal mean why what is it showing me look at the characteristics if you see a mouse mice they're very timid very shy they hide they're afraid to come out during the day so they only come out at night they don't want to be found they're just looking for a scrap of food you see so oh maybe they're telling me that i'm way too timid and i need to get myself out there more and not be so afraid and stop sticking myself in the dark in the room right mm -hmm. you see a squirrel squirrels are like busy all the time this is just a squirrel getting a nut you know what i'm saying you have to think of the concept of what does the animal mean and what does that mean? And that's how you'll know what they're talking about. I've There's never seen a spirit animal ever um, in my dreams before. My dreams are just so chaotic. You gotta ask. You gotta ask. Listen, until you're ready to step forward with that, your guides, your spirit animals, they're not going to come forward because they, they don't want to overwhelm you. They can't do that to us because okay. it will overwhelm us. So when you're ready... One of the best things to do in a dream, if you want to know something, an answer, mm -hmm. or you want to see something, so you write it down. Say, I would like to know um, if this decision for this job is the right one for me. If it's the wrong one for me, please show me a dream where I'm working and something goes wrong. And so it'll take one to two to three days, but you will have that dream. That's how wow. you work with your dream. That's how you work with You write it down, and you leave it by your bed. And say, and me and my friend just did some man. I made him do some manifesting the other day because they said it was like a good manifestation day. We did yeah. some manifesting the other day, so stuff like that, like spirit work, manifesting, and all that stuff. Like, I really want to get more into it. Okay, good. So we'll work in that. Okay, guys, I love you, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please try to step outside for this morning, even if you can. Step out into nature if you can. If you're not near nature, that's fine. Go near. Yeah. Just walk. Just walk down the street and just tell yourself in your head, I'm clearing, I'm grounding, I'm clearing, I'm grounding. As I walk, my aura gets cleansed. As I move around, as I, as I motivate my body, the spirit in me gets more alive. I get happier. I feel better. And start to do this every day. And I'm telling you and I'm telling myself too. So when you guys talk to me, I hope you guys say, did you walk today, Flo? Go for a walk. Tell me too. I need help too sometimes. I need people to motivate me. Right. I'm all alone here. And I, you know, it's boring when you're by yourself. Yeah, it is. And so that's what we have to learn. It's okay if we're alone. I love you guys. I love, I you, love you, Flo. Uh, all right. I love you. And I'll see you in class. Just hit, just DM me, I'm okay? DM and, uh, all right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much for helping me. I love, me. You. I love, I love you, Flo. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Okay, remember, I'm not sick. I'm gifted. I'm not sick. I'm gifted I'm every day. Not right? sick. I I'm am gifted. gifted. I'm not sick. I like I'm just gifted. I, okay. And that's and believe me, the more you say it, you're gonna cry because you're gonna something's gonna break in your mind. You're like, like I'm oh, awakening. Shit. Yeah. What the fuck? This whole time, oh my god, your guys are gonna be like, congratulations, man, you finally did it. Amazing lives. Thank you guys. I love you. I see you guys later. Peace. Bye, Flo. Thank you. I love you guys. I'll see you later. Love you. Bye. Bye.